Well, I'm joined by Ian Baird. Ian, that's a bit of a bitter pill to swallow, isn't it? Um, it's been an extremely frustrating afternoon for us. Um, I've just said there on Radio Solent that the um, most disappointing thing for me was that um, they changed their system from what we had them watch. They, they were a 3-5-2, they went 4-4-2 today, so I believe that was to counteract us. Um, and they they did the proverbial job on us. They, they went and nicked a goal from a sloppy set piece from us, which you know, we were extremely disappointed by. Um, they got their one goal, they sat in there, made it extremely hard for us to break them down. Um, and our quality in the final third to break them down, albeit the last 15 minutes we were better, uh, wasn't good enough. The uh, goal came in the eighth minute. After the goal, we looked quite solid, and I thought perhaps we were going to... Dave Malone was sat next to me, and he said, there's going to be plenty of goals in this game, because he looked like they were going to come straight back into the game. It didn't quite happen, did it, at all? No, it didn't quite happen. Um, but, from our point of view, is... We're, we're, we're extremely disappointed by the goal we conceded. Um, and, we, you know, we've got to work on things like that because, uh, like any side, when they go away from home uh, against allegedly one of the, the, the better sides in the league, that if they can nick something and hold on to it, um, then that's all the better. If they walk away with there without a point, then they, they seem they've done their job, but they've walked away with three points because we couldn't defend a set piece. And what was frustrating, Ian, was just a few moments before there, that we had a warning from a free kick, didn't we? And we were a little bit asleep at that one, which I think uh, we got away with with a header just going wide. Do you remember that one? Yeah, I certainly do. Um, you know, if, if, if I could unscrew the heads of so, uh, some footballers and see what's inside there, because if that game had been against Dover, then we'd have been bang on it. Um, I think sometimes players, their mentality is, and this is no disrespect to Bays and Stoke, is that, Oh, today we're playing Basingstoke. We don't have to really be at it. Um, but as anybody tell you in football, you have to be at it every week, week in, week out, and that's how winning sides are created. Um, so that's something we, we've got to seriously look at. I know you don't mention much about referees, but that, apart from obviously that brain tree game, but I mean, this referee was a bit bitty, wasn't he? With that whistle, didn't flow, did it? Um, well, I mean, my record with the referees this season has been very, very good, and I, I haven't had a pop at them at all. Uh, to, to be fair, if I am being fair, I, I would have thought probably the referee was a little bit pedantic for both sides. Um, I wouldn't say just for us. Um, the only the only issue I would have with him is that he booked Will Hender and he's booked Anthony Riviera um, for two innocuous challenges. Well, maybe you know their lads have got away with the same things. But if to say the referee had an influence on the game result-wise, not at all. Just the flow-wise, I thought. It, it, I think sometimes the flow-wise. I don't know whether an assessor's here um, or not. And, uh, and no disrespect. I mean, uh, they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. Because if they don't do uh, what is uh, the UA for legislation and what assessors want, then they get marked down on it. So some days when the assessor's here, you know, they can be a little bit pedantic. But that, yeah, that's a problem of, of, of the UEFA. Now you've got uh, obviously two games coming up. Monday night, you're going to do questions and answers with Dave Malone. Very brave. Are you looking forward to that? Well, I think, so, yeah, uh, yeah, I am looking forward to it. To be honest with you, I mean, uh, there's always um, rumblings and discontentment on on forums, and it'll be actually nice to actually see the people who do, who do uh, constantly criticise on there, um, and to see exactly where. Well. well It'd be nice to see the questions they ask and, and how we answer them. I mean, I, I, you know, I am pretty much an open book. There's, you know, if people want to come and talk to me, then it's not a problem at all like that. And I think, I think it'd be healthy. So we could, I think we touched in pre-match reserve team, possibly with some fringe on fringe players coming back in and for the Monday night game. Yeah, I think. I mean, it'll be predominantly a reserve team side, um, and there'll be smatterings of uh, the first team squad players. And then, of course, the big one next weekend away. Are you going to have to pick the team up much for that? Do you think you need to, or do you think really that the excitement of the FA Cup will just sweep in anyway? Um, if I knew the answer to that, I'd be able to bottle it and sell it uh, because I'd be able to get my team up for every game. And unfortunately, today we, we didn't look up for it. Um, but the, that game's been and gone. Um, there wasn't six points lost, there wasn't nine points lost, there was three points lost, and that, that's the reality of it. And today, I would say that Basingstoke were the better side.
I'd agree with that. And what surprised me, and uh, normally I don't go into depth, but I thought our defence today was sluggish. And I thought our midfield, which sometimes has so much flair in it, had nothing. And uh, I thought our strikers didn't seem to be in for it. Would you agree with that or would you criticise that? Well, you've just pretty much criticised every player there. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking we just didn't seem to have the belly. Josh, I, I, I don't know about the. I think, as I said to you before, we, we weren't at the races early doors. Um, as I said, if, if I could open up players' heads and see what's inside them, then, then I'd be a very, very wealthy man. Um, but going back to your previous question, will we be up for it against Cleveland? I'd love to say yes. I'm looking forward to it. I'm coming. I'm coming with you, by the way, on the coach. I look forward to that, Josh. Maybe you might wear a decent jumper. Thank you very much, Ian Baird. Cheers. Thanks, Ian.